we are unable as a country right now to fully help people that are fleeing persecution and are destitute in the world because of the the extent of illegal migration that is taking place where people are putting their lives at risk and also fueling criminality, um, whether it's through buying fake passports or even paying your way to come to the United Kingdom through a safe country, France, Germany, Italy, through the back of a lorry or even in a small boat. So what's the answer to my question? Are you not, by imposing these new regulations that you're proposing, imposing on people a difference in the way that they are treated, not depending on whether they deserve asylum, but just on how they got here? Well, we will bring in changes to the system where we effectively create safe and legal routes to give people the chance to resettle and access our asylum system, those that are fleeing persecution. Yeah, but the point, the point that, that we've just heard, though, from Hassan Akkad is that it is not fair to discriminate against people who come here by what you refer to as, as illegal means, who use fake passports as he did, because plenty of those people actually will have a perfectly good case for asylum and they're not now going to be permanently granted the right to stay here. Well, they would also have a perfectly acceptable case to be given asylum in the safe countries that they have travelled from. So France, Germany, Italy, Belgium, these are not war zones. They are safe countries. And it's important to emphasise that, that they are absolutely playing into the hands of the people smugglers